we go, we got one. Well, this week on Sport Fishing, we're back aboard the Triton. We're here at Catalina Island. We're on the front side of the island. And today we're gonna be fishing for calico bass, maybe yellowtail, maybe some exotics, you never know. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. with the salad. Barracuda. Barracuda. Oh, was a barracuda. got bit. Skipper just made a move. We're out in front of Bird Rock, out by the Isthmus. And we're still fishing fly line baits, live sardines. And I just got bit 20 pound fluorocarbon, small hook, size two hook. And uh, hopefully this is a nice calico bass. Let's see what I got here. It's coming up to color. Looks like a nicer fish. Oh yeah, nice fish. There's the legal bass. Here we go. Nice legal calico bass. Beautiful, beautiful fish there. All right, let's take a little break from the action here aboard the Triton at Catalina Island and go to the tackle box and give you a good lick of the gear you need for this type of fishing. This week in the tackle box, we're gonna to talk to you a little bit what we're doing today. We're over at Catalina Island and we're aboard the Triton. We're looking for calico bass, maybe a yellowtail or two. And for that type of gear, this time of year, you don't need the really heavy stuff. The lighter gear works out really good for the calico bass fishing and that smaller grade of yellowtail. 
And because of that, you can get away with using smaller outfits like this. Use a spinning reel with 15 to 20 pound test line. If that's all you're comfortable casting, don't be afraid to use it, it works out fine. And for a conventional reel, if you wanna try something different, look at these new low profile reels. They work out really good. I would put 50 pound Spectra. I know that sounds heavy, but 50 pound Spectra on the back, 25 pound monofilament on top, at least 100 yards, and then a small piece of fluorocarbon, either a 20, 25 pound fluorocarbon, but half the length of your rod is all you need, it works out fine. And that's for fishing the live bait right up on the surface. Now for this type of fishing, the calico bass, this time of year are very aggressive, so you can catch them on the artificials. Use something like this, a magic middle light. This is an MM7 or an MM5, will both work out fine. Cast it right up on the surface, swim it slowly right up on the surface, and the calico bass and yellowtail will eat it. And for that calico bass that are right along the edge of the kelp or toward the bottom, you wanna use something like this, a B52 bucktail, one ounce with a strip of squid, let it flutter along the edge of the kelp, and then bounce it up and down off the bottom and work it right back to you. The calico bass will come up and eat it. You get really aggressive, works out really good. Well, this is the basic gear you need for this type of fishing. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Skipper made a little move right here by the rock, weird rock here around the isthmus. I got a bait going. Let me get out here in position. All right, so I'm getting bit. I'm going to put it in gear, see if he's still there. He's not eating, he's just chewing on it. We got really big baits on right now, big sardines, so you have to be, you have to let them eat it for a while. We got a fish going right behind us. Here's a line coming off my reel. That's because the fish has it in his mouth. So before you set the hook, what you want to do is put the reel in gear, let the rod load up, get the stretch out, and then pull. This is a nice spot. We got a bunch of bass here. We got some nice legals here. And we're hoping to see some other exotics. I got bit off by a barracuda. This one feels like another calico. So when you got a calico, just wind like this nice and easy. First trip out since the virus. So it's nice to be out. Here's color right here. There we go. Another legal calico. Nice fish. 
All right, we're going to take a little break from the action here aboard the Trident Catalina and uh, go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish for catching. This week in the galley, I want to do a simple ceviche dish for you with rockfish. A lot of people are always asking me, can you do ceviche with rockfish? And yes, you can. This is some chucklehead, some whitefish, different rockfish I've caught. Just put it all together, mix it in here. So the first thing you want to do is add your citrus to it. So I've got some limes, lemons. This is a traditional ingredient that goes in most ceviche dishes. If I was at home and I was going to do this to eat later in the day, or even here on the boat, but say I was going to eat it this evening, I would add all this to it and then let it sit in the refrigerator for like two hours or so. It really helps it marinate and cook. Now, I like to mix this up a little bit. Most people will just add the lemon and lime, but to change things up a little bit, what I like to do is add orange. So I got some oranges here. Okay, just adding that orange to it just really changes the whole complexion of the fish and the flavor of it just gives it that extra little bite that people aren't used to. And I think it makes a big difference. Let's mix this all up really good. Now some of the in other ingredients that I like to add, I like to put bell peppers and chilies. So these are some serrano chilies and you can just put serrano chilies up to as hot as you like it. This some tomatoes. Some fresh cilantro, and I always put that in there. And some red onions. Like to add a little salt. And then just mix it all up. And this fish is just gonna cook in all those juices. And all those ingredients are, the flavor is gonna go right into the fish. And this is the finished dish. This is what it looks like. Again, if I was at home or if I was gonna eat this later, I would throw this in the refrigerator for two hours, let all those juices cook in there, but you can already see how much the juices have already penetrated the fish, how it's changed the color, and it's, it's already ready to eat. Mmm. That is delicious. Just a really simple dish you can do with your rockfish. Just make a ceviche dish from rockfish, add these ingredients, and you won't be disappointed. All right, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Right there, perfect. Oh, we did the easy part. Oh, we did the hard stuff. Let's 
Shane did the hard stuff. Big enough to keep. Bundy. Let's find out if it's perfect. I got a fish going. Got the wrong. Well, I got a calico. We had a couple of yellows going here. Let's see what I got here. There's a calico right here. Another calico bass. Nice little calico. Blooper. Big blooper. I grab the sinker. <laughs> Short one. Small bass. Ah, baby. Oh, yeah. That's for oh, practice. Yeah, let me get him, buddy. Two 
more cranks. There we go. Woo! That's all I'm talking about! <laughs> Good job, Todd. Thank you. Woo. We just made a move. Now we're on the back side of the island, far west end. And I just got bit, first bait. Probably another calico. Oh, there it is. Nice calico. There we go. Beautiful calico bass. Fly line bait. Our skipper Shane's got us on a really good spot. And this first fish on the spot is really good. Having a great time fishing here aboard the Triton today. Well, let's take a little break from the action here at Catalina Island aboard the Triton. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about how we caught the fish today. It was all about the live bait, live sardines. We had good sardines today. And our skipper Shane told us when we left to use a small hook, size two hook, 20 pound fluorocarbon made all the difference. Fish were a little touchy, but they bit really good. We had lots of calico bass. I got my limit, my five fish, and lots of guys caught quite a few fish today. Now that one yellowtail that we did land, we hooked about 10 of them, but we only landed one, and Tony was using that light fluorocarbon, 20 pound test fluorocarbon, size two hook, and that made all the difference. Well, I wanna thank Captain Shane and the whole crew of the Triton. The guys did a great job. We had lots of fun fishing with them, and we always do. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.